Hello everyone. In this video of microprocessor and interfacing devices, I am going to explain test instruction of 8086 microprocessor. So test instruction of 8086 microprocessor, it is a logical compare instruction. That means it is used to compare two words. It has a format that is test, comma and operands. So what is test? Test is a mnemonic. Every mnemonic will have its unique hexadecimal code. An operand is classified into two parts that is source operand and destination operand. So what this test instruction does? Test instruction computes bitwise logical AND of source and destination. That means it computes AND operation of this source operand and destination operand and sets the sign flag, zero flag and parity flag status flags according to the result. That means first it will perform AND operation between source and destination and based on the result, this sign flag, zero flag and parity flag will set or reset. Then what is the difference between normal AND and this test instruction? Because as I said, test instruction also performs logical AND. And AND instruction also performs logical AND. Then what is the difference? So it is written, the test instruction works same as the AND operation, but, but unlike the AND instruction, it does not change the first operand. What is the meaning of it does not change the first operand? The meaning is whatever is the result of AND operation, that result will not get stored in the destination operand. What happens in AND instruction? AND instruction logically ANDs the contents of source with destination and it stores the result in the destination. But test instruction will perform AND operation between source and destination but will not store the result in destination operand. That means destination operand and source operand both will not change and will remain same after the execution of test instruction. Now let's say one by one. This is first example that is test RD, RS. RS stands for source register and RD stands for destination register. Here we have taken an example of test AH, CH. That means one data, one number is in AH register and another is in CH register. So one number that is F0 and another number is in CH that is 9E. So what this instruction says, it says this instruction computes bitwise logical AND. It will perform logical AND. It will compute bitwise logical AND of contents of AH register and CH register and will set the flag, sign flag, zero flag and parity status flag according to the result. Now remember that the result will not enter into destination register. So let's see how it takes place, the F0 uh, and 9E. Then it will perform logical AND operation between these two numbers like this. This is logical AND operation 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and so on. 1, 1, 1, we know what is logical AND operation and we got result 9, 0. So result is 9, 0. Now this result will not get transferred into destination register unlike AND instruction. Remember, in AND instruction, this result will enter into destination and in test instruction, this result will not enter in the destination, but it will change the flags. Now, we know that in 8086, uh, it is a 16-bit processor status word, but since we are concerned only with these flags, I have shown only this portion of processor status word of 8086 microprocessor. Okay, so what happens according to this result, most significant bit is 1. When most significant bit is 1, it indicates that result is negative. And when the result is negative, your sign flag will set to 1. Now what happens for 0 flag? When the result is non-zero, this result is non-zero result. When the result is non-zero, the 0 flag will be 0. What about parity flag? This is even parity flag. What is meaning of even parity flag? When the result of this operation holds even number of ones, then parity flag will set to one. Means let's count number of ones, how many ones are there? This is one and this is two. 
so there are two number of ones that means there are even number of ones and if there are even number of ones in the result the parity flag will set to one so this is how test instruction will change the flags according to the result after performing and operation remember result will not enter into destination register now next example test al comma 8 bit data this instruction belongs to immediate addressing mode in which 8 bit data to be compared is specified in the instruction and we have taken example of test al comma 0 1 so this is operand what it does again it will compute bitwise logical and operation of al and specified data 0 1 and these flags will affect now this is al register let's assume that al register also holds 0 1 and this 0 1 which is a part of instruction that is available here in the memory along with the instruction here we have to store instruction and immediately after that we store this data that is 8 bit data and it is 8 bit data is part of instruction so what happens this 0 1 and this 0 1 will get compared remember test instruction is logical compare instruction and then it will compare it will perform and operation and then the result is 0 1 so here it is 0 1 result and based on this result the flags will affect now this in this most significant bit is 0 when most significant bit is 0 it indicates that result is positive and when result is positive sign flag is zero or just for the sake of convenience remember that whatever is the if most significant bit is zero sign flag is zero when most significant bit is one sign flag is one now result is non zero when the result is non zero zero flag is zero what about parity how many uh, ones are there only one number of one is there so odd number of ones are there when number of ones are odd parity flag is zero now let's take example test ax now this is for 16 bit data now so this 16 bit data is available in the instruction that we have to compare with the contents of ax register ax is 16 bit register which is a combination of al and ax let's assume that ax register holds f0 f0 so what happens again it computes bitwise logical and operation between contents of ax and specified data 0 1 22 so it will perform this and operation bit this is f0 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 is contents of ax register and 0 1 22 which is a 16 bit data available in the instruction which is a part of instruction okay then perform logical and operation and based on this and operation the flags will affect now most significant bit is 0 so sign flag is 0 because it is positive result now result is non zero when result is non zero zero flag is zero now there are there is only one uh, so one number of one so it is odd and hence parity is zero now let's take similar example now we want to compare or we want to test the contents of cx register and 00 f0 this instruction is similar to previous instruction This 00F0 is 16-bit data available in the instruction, and which is a part of instruction. So what happens generally whenever it is a part of instruction, it is available immediately after the instruction. This number will get stored in the memory. So what happens? It will go so see this 5A uh, F0, which are the contents of CX register. then it will take the contents of two consecutive memory location that is 00f0 like this and then this is result that is 00f0 and based on this result the flags will change now most significant bit is 0 so sign flag is 0 now result is non zero when the result is non zero zero flag is 0 parity flag f means four ones four ones means even number of ones when even number of ones are there parity flag is set to 1 remember that here why i have shown it in the memory remember why i have shown it in the memory because it is part of instruction and when we store this instruction in the memory somewhere here we will store opcode and immediately after that we store the data 
but also remember how do we store the data we don't store 0 0 f0 first we store f0 and then we store 0 0 now next instruction is what instruction says test the contents of memory location which memory location whose offset is 0 002 with the contents of ah register what ah register holds f0 now why i said contents of memory location because here 0 002 is indicated in brackets so whenever there are brackets it indicates that it is memory so which memory location whose offset is 0 0 0 2 like this that means which is 0 0 0 locations away from base location so what this memory location holds 0 a and what h holds f0 what this instruction says compare or test the contents of h and contents of this memory location so it will take this f0 and 0 a which is stored in the memory location which is at the offset of 0 0 0 2 and it will give some result now here result is 0 0 result is 0 0 now flag should affect now most significant bit is 0 so it indicates that result is positive so sign flag is 0 now here since result is 0 no result of operation is 0 and when result of operation is 0 0 flag is 1 and parity flag is set to 1 so this is how uh, this test instruction works in case of test memory comma register now these are different patterns uh, this is how we can use different combinations for a uh, test instruction like test al comma 8 bit immediate data that means and this we have already done and immediate 8 bit data with the contents of al register and set or reset sign flag zero flag and parity flag according to result similarly text contents of ax and immediate 16 bit data this i have shown you similarly there are various combinations like test register and memory and 8 bit register or 16 bit memory and 16 bit register or 16 bit register and 16 bit register and so on so different combinations are possible for source operand and destination operands you can use whatever you want so all 8 bit operation 16 bit operation 32 bit operation is possible so this is how i uh, this test instruction works it is very very much similar to uh, and instruction and operation but it is a logical compare instruction then what is difference between compare and test instruction in compare instruction what happens it subtracts the two numbers and then changes the flags but in test instruction it perform and operation and then changes the flag so this is the difference between compare and test instruction and what is difference between and instruction and test instruction in and instruction the result will enter into destination operand and in test instruction the result will not enter into destination operand but test instruction is used for comparison of two numbers or for checking whether a particular bit in that register is set or reset so thanks for watching i hope you understood the concept if you have any questions you can always ask in the comment section thank you